Good morning, everybody. This is day three of the Law of Attraction Manifest. Um, Marilyn posted a video today about um, how she shifted her ability to perceive someone in her life. And she was talking, well, I'll let you go see the video. I'll put the link underneath this one. Um, so what it, what it inspired me to do is um, go back to what I was reading last night. I was sitting outside because it was so beautiful here in Florida. It was ridiculous. I don't know what was going on. I guess it was the hurricane. It was breezy. It was cool. It was sunny. It was gorgeous. And um, but today, today it's not. It's it's very breezy and very hot and very overcast and kind of weather. But yesterday I was reading in my Law of Attraction the the part about allowing, and this is huge, especially considering yesterday we were talking about our resistance. Um, in any given situation, anything that you come across is something that you have drawn into you based on your vibration. Now, if you kind of find yourself consistently find, getting in positions or situation or interactions with people that make you very unhappy or uncomfortable, it's because they're trying to service you. They're trying to... The law of attraction is trying to bring you experiences with ref, which reflect what your vibration is. So it's not them, it's you. And this has a lot to do with taking responsibility. So when we come across something that's difficult, or someone that's difficult, they're representing something in ourselves that's difficult. So what I recommend and what, I, what I'm going to start implementing a little bit more in my life, or a lot more in my life, because I want to remove my resistance, is to practice the art of allowing. and also to practice the art of forgiveness which I believe is the same thing um, I came across something about a month and a half ago maybe my friend Dave Lambert he's awesome. uh, introduced Ho Ho'oponopono to me and I've made a couple of videos on it and Ho'oponopono is the is a old Hawaiian art of clearing and it helps you to get yourself in a nice blank slate where you can fill it up with all the good stuff that you want. And basically, the mantra is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, and thank you. Well, that's pretty powerful stuff. Because what that means is that you've got to apologize for your perception. You've got to ask yourself for forgiveness. You have to declare that you love, and then you have to thank and be grateful. And generally what you do is you take that, that principle of Ho'oponopono and you apply it to something that's giving you a lot of resistance or making you feel uncomfortable. Um, recently, well, I've, right now I've got some stuff that, that is um, giving me a lot of anxiety. And um, it has to do with the fears and the not allowing the abundance and the love and the joy to come in. So I really need to sit down and forgive myself for these things and forgive those influences for how it makes me feel because it's really just me making me feel the way I feel. Um, I don't want to get into too much of what the negativity is because that's really nothing to do with it because you have your own that you have to do but um I definitely suggest that you look into Ho'oponopono I have some videos on my uh, creative workshops on that playlist and it's really beautiful stuff so that's that's what I want to say I'm going to read a quote that I found yesterday uh, I'm reading the, the chapter on allowing and it's really good and one of the things that Abraham says to Jerry is and this is the truth this is about getting in your vortex and really putting the blinders on to the things that you don't want and if they are so in your face that they keep jumping in front of your view that means you have to apply allowing to it 
It says, when you are clear about what you want, you do not have to forcefully keep yourself on track. For by the law of attraction, it occurs. And so, it is not difficult to be an allower. It comes easily and simply because you will not be so interested in all the things that have nothing to do with what you are about. So keep your head up, stay focused, stay positive, keep dancing and having fun. Um, and when you see something that gives you some kind of feeling, flip the script, turn it around, kill it with kindness. It works. I put a, an example in my blog post. It was, a, I'd have to say it was the first real time I practiced it. I was 17 or 18 years old, just out of high school, working at the Montauk Manor. And, wow, what a difference. What a difference I, I made in one relationship that was giving me a lot of hard times. So, it can be done. So, I'm going to today, I'm going to write a list of the things that are making me or are bringing into my focus negative emotions and I'm going to let them go. I'm going to apologize. I'm going to love them and I'm going to thank them for showing me this. So it, it is, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. That's the Ho'oponopono way. So give it a shot. Thank you very much. You have a beautiful day. I'll see you later. Maybe I'll make another video later. I don't know. If things go crazy. I get crazy and I want to make videos and I want to write blogs and I boo. And then sometimes I just get quiet. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>